Hello. Hello guys. Today I'm going to be showing you basically how to create splines uh, or curve inside Blender like you do in 3ds Max. Okay. One of the biggest features in 3ds Max is the spline. Um, and the splines in 3 d Max are a great thing because you can do basically like uncountable different things with splines and you can use the splines to modify it later in an easiest in an easier way and 3 d Max is well known by that especially for people that deal with art fees. so back in the days in Blender it wasn't that much uh, easy to deal with splines and the tool in itself it has lots of it had lots of limitations compared with 3d max but nowadays it's much easier and uh, in the current version blender, blender 4.0 uh, it's a uh, I can I can tell like you can do very much similar thing as you do in 3d max especially the way you draw a line and I'm gonna show you in 3d max here we go uh, if you go to the top view the way you create a, a, a spline in 3d max is you go here to the splines and then you have all those options okay so if you click in line and then you start to click on your screen you easily draw your spline okay and you can press alt and then you can lock the the point and unlock you know so you can create vector way or you keep it like this and then we'll unlock that you can turn them in a different directions pressing shift or control and you can keep drawing your spline it's very easy okay and if you go together with the other uh, vertices it will ask you if you need if you want to close your spline and yes and uh, if you need to edit the line you go here into your line modify tab and then you press the dots and you have you have the entire segment you have the edge and you have the point okay if you press the point then you can edit your spline okay and if you are editing your spline and you press uh, shift you break the spline in a way that you have a free hand edit, edit okay so you can edit your spline in this way and deal with uh, any kind of shape and create any kind of, sh of shape you want okay so that's very much it if you need to uh, fill up the line you go here to your modifier tab and press maybe edit poly and you would have your line uh, filled okay let's delete this right so that's how it line works in 3d max okay uh, the other thing you can do is uh, create splines by by different shapes you know dragging and drop circles things like that okay but let's focus on drawing the line which wasn't possible before in blender and now it's possible in 3d max okay so here we go in blender okay you have this this is blender let's go to the top view same thing we did in max and if you want to draw a line it's not allowing you to draw a line by default you have to create a curve in blender it's called curve okay and you have those options to create a curve but that for us is not the most uh it's not the most handy way we want to draw a line as we do in 3 ds max okay so what we do here is we can create a curve and start to draw with that curve 
but that's not what we want because we don't want, for example, to have a circle and then it starts to create a, a line and then delete the circle. That's not very handy, right? So what you have to do is you have to go to your edit preferences, go to your add-on tab and press uh, add curve extra objects because it will give you the, and then you save here, save preferences. And then every time you open Blender, it will be there. Now, if you go to uh, Shift A, you have lots of other options for curve. And we will just add a point, okay, on your scene. And then when you add a point, it goes automatically into edit mode. You select the point, delete that, delete the vertex. You don't need that. Now you have your tool. That's the tool in which you are going to do similar thing as the 3 ds Max, okay? If you click here, click here, you basically drag and then you have your tool. If you press shift, if you press control, you will be able to set up the other part of the line, like the part which is uh, the BZA, which is close to the, the starting point. Okay. You see, you can drive it here. If you release, you can set up your curve here okay so that's very much it okay and you can keep drawing keep drawing keep drawing your line and then doing the shapes you want okay it's very handy and as you finish it's finished you just go here or you press W so it's the same and then select both vertices and press F so you close your line, okay? If you don't want to see this field, you go here and then you put none and then you don't have any field on your spline, okay? If you want to fill your spline, you put both, you fill it, okay? Yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, to draw a line similar as you do in 3 ds Max, okay? The difference is uh, right now here, this is uh, the same operation, okay? In 3 ds Max, uh, for example, this is, a, this is one object, this is another object, another object. All of those are different objects, okay? And if you want to go into this object and keep drawing the line, uh, if you go here to your modifier, you have you will be able to modify the line and create another line, okay? Inside the same line, okay? That's that's how you do. And in Blender is you are already if you go to your if you press tab and go inside your edit mode, uh, and you want to draw another line. You just select the tool and it starts to draw again and it will be drawing in the same line spline so it will be the same object okay uh, and then if you release it that that's that's one object okay one single object okay the same thing at the 3d max blender also has this uh, tool which is uh, which allows you to basically really draw a line right which is this one and you can shape the line as you want okay and add it later okay and it has those other tools that I'm not going too much on that because that's not the point here okay so that's it I hope you guys like it that's a nice feature it didn't have it it didn't exist before and later I don't see uh, lots of people commenting about that or using that but that for us that came from 3d max that was very something something super lacking in blender and now we can do that that's all good now okay see you soon take care